Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Saturday, October 5th, 2024, college football edition. Four bets coming your way. Smash that like button if you're liking the content, guys. Let me know in the comments below what your college football picks are for today. NFL for tomorrow, all is welcome. It helps out the algorithm as we got uh, first game up. We are talking the defending national champions, the Michigan Wolverines and the Washington Huskies, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 local time on NBC from Husky Stadium, Seattle, Washington. 41 in the hook being the total. We are seeing the Huskies, minus one in the hook, home favorites. Of course, the defending champs playing their first road game of the season. Not an easy trip either. Ann Arbor to Seattle, you know, welcome to uh, the new lifestyle, the new... uh, the new locations of the Big Ten Conference in Michigan going to be going, uh, what, over 2,000 miles here to play this game. And they're up against the quarterback, Will Rogers, for Washington. I mean, Washington not off to the best of starts, but I think they're actually going to come into their own here, guys. Offensively, he's the all-time leading passer at Mississippi State. He transferred over in Michigan, letting up 250 pass yards per game. That's ranking in the 100s across all of college football. So I think Washington's going to be able to move the ball. And a lot of people know about Michigan, you know, the run that they've been on in terms of win-loss record. But Washington, a little bit lesser known, 22-2 and two, their last 24 regular season games. They've been good. They've been good at home. Just one in the hook here. I think they get it done. It's the Huskies over the Wolverines to lead us off on Saturday. Actually, that's a night game. We're going a little earlier for the next one. 4.15 Eastern start time on SEC Network. It's Alabama and Vanderbilt next game up. 54 and a hook being the total. Alabama laying 22 and a half. This is from Nashville, Tennessee on SEC Network. First Bank Stadium there in Nashville. I think this is a terrible schedule spot for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Straight off, arguably the, the most anticipated college football game of the entire regular season, beating Georgia last week at home, a close game. You know, uh, it, it was kind of a blowout, and then they come back. It was just a lot put into that one. And they're up against Vanderbilt on the road in Nashville. Vandy off of a bye week behind a good coach, in my opinion, Clark Lee. This isn't your uh, grandma's Vanderbilt here, guys. Uh, they just went up against top 10 ranked Missouri in their last game two weeks ago, gave them all they could handle in a three point overtime loss. I think Vanderbilt's the side here, guys. We get more than three touchdowns. Terrible spot for Bama. Great spot for Vandy at home here. Plus 22 and a half. That's on the Commodores to stay within what three touchdowns of Alabama. If you're feeling frisky, how about plus 1100 on the money line? Risk 100 to win $1,100 if Vanderbilt shocks the world here. But for, for the show, plus 22 and a half, that's on Vanderbilt to stay within the number against Alabama. Next one up, 3.30 Eastern time on ABC from Athens, Georgia. Kind of the same type of profile here. It's Auburn and Georgia. Georgia, minus 22 and a hook, 52 being the total. Same type of profile in terms of point spread, but also in terms of spot play. Looking to fade Georgia off of arguably the most anticipated game of the season last week against Alabama. And, of course, Georgia going down in that one. But uh, a couple reasons why, in terms of matchup, I like Auburn, other than I'm wearing the Auburn hat. Um, Close trip. Deep South's oldest rivalry here, Battle of Brothers, as they call it. Uh, Athens and Auburn, not too far away from each other. And looking at the Auburn side of things, look, they've been the turnover Tigers here. 15 turnovers so far this season. One of the tops in the country. They got nine interceptions. If they stopped throwing the ball to the other team, they actually wouldn't be that bad. I mean, you look at their yards per play margin, 2.8 for Auburn, only 2.0 for Georgia. Uh, I mean, margin-wise, yards per play, Auburn's been the better team out the gate. Now, I'm not saying they're the better team overall, but it comes back to the ultimate equalizer. I mean, again, guys, this is more than three touchdowns. In Georgia, I hate this statistic. I I mean, I love it betting against it. Their last three games, Georgia, is 0-3 against the spread, minus 40 against the spread points, meaning they've been overpriced by 40 points ATS. Uh, that's pretty expensive here on the Georgia Bulldogs. We all know this program overall. They're getting a lot of respect in the marketplace. 
And if you look at the opening line, the line down from actually 24 to 22 and a half. That usually means the smarter money here on the underdog. Got a great stat here from the gold sheet, which, by the way, is only $5 on wagertalk.com this week. Top 10 teams that lost as a favorite the very next week are just 69 and 88. That's 43% against the spread. Georgia checks that box here, guys. 43% ATS long term for top 10 teams losing as a favorite. So uh, Auburn and Georgia, we're jumping on the dog here. Plus 22 and a half. That's on War Eagle to stay within three touchdowns of the Georgia Bulldogs. Got one game left for you. Night slate, late night game. But check out uh, Premium Picks, wagertalk.com. Wager Talk's hottest handicapper, guys. Drew Martin, 5-0, uh, and 100% heading into Friday action. Actually, tip of the cap to Ski Profit as well. He's up there uh, profit-wise um, doing a great job at Wager Talk. But uh, it's been a great run here, guys. Haven't lost yet this week going into Friday night lights. We got Georgia Tech and Miami we're breaking down, but do have the 4% play we did not talk about on the show for Saturday and Sunday as well. And always a reminder, guys, we are doing Drew's Daily Diamonds for Sunday NFL as well, so stay tuned for that. All right, Cal and Miami. College game day heading to Berkeley for, I believe, the first time ever. Either way, it's 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 local time, degenerate special spot, although it's not too degenerate. 54 being the total. Miami, minus 10.5 or minus 10, depending on where we're shopping right now, as the road favorite. This game on ESPN, California Memorial Stadium, Berkeley, California. It's Miami's first road game outside the state of Florida. It's their first ACC road game of the year and this is one of the longest domestic travel spots of any college football team this season miami florida to berkeley california and it, it, it kind of brings in the spot play again um you know look at miami's roster it's a lot of dade broward palm beach kids and from being a born in, in broward county florida kids don't travel to this part of the country a lot and it's a tough trip overall when you look at Miami overall, they're statistically when going on the road, they're three and ten against the spread as conference road chalk under minus twelve. That checks the box. They're three and nine against the spread in game sixes. If you remember, just you know the last what half decade here, Miami's gotten off to some good starts and then kind of crumbled. You know, week five, week six, we almost saw it last week actually against the spread we did against Virginia Tech. Um, and you look at the Cal side of things, you know, first off, obviously, you know, spot wise for them alone, college game day coming to Berkeley, it doesn't go there very often. And Cal 25 and 14 against the spread as an underdog since 2018. They've been great in this role. Their defense is playing very well. No more than 14 points let up in any game this season. I actually think Cal is the spot here, guys, plus 10 in the hook to stay within double digits of Miami. Let's jump on the Cal Golden Bears late night. Hopefully not a get back spot, but it's uh, Cal staying within 10 in the hook of Miami. So that's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond for Saturday. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Check out Premium Picks. 4% play going Saturday, 4% play going Sunday. And uh, for the best bet for the show and the recap, we are on Washington. Minus one in the hook. That is best bet. Vanderbilt plus 22 and a half. Auburn plus 22 and a half, two big dogs there. And then how about Cal plus 10 and a half as well? Check it out. Enjoy your Saturday, guys. We'll be back on Sunday. NFL edition coming your way. Come back and join us. Smash that like button, comment below. Enjoy your weekend.